Okay, now we're going to build the structure for the front part of the intake. So the pieces you're gonna need for this are a 20 long C channel, a 12 long C channel, a 12 long one by, another 12 long one by, a four hole one by, and a two hole one by. You're also going to need one of the special bearings, a regular bearing, two flat nuts, two one inch standoffs, and a C channel coupler. Now, to be more specific with these, two of these are cut from three by ones. Now, the important part about this is to make it so that this is a lot thinner than it would normally be in a regular one by one. As you can see here, the difference is great. And this is important to do for the two and one of the 12s. Let's get started. I'm gonna take the 20 hole long C channel and the two 12s and make sure that the one cut with the three by one is on the left side. We're going to attach these three holes up. Screw edge facing inwards, our two fours. Doesn't matter which side. All right, then we're going to take these standoffs for this one, three holes above. As that happens, you can screw this on up top. And once again, keep these loose. All right, once you do this, you're going to get two more one inch, half inch standoffs, and you're going to screw those into the top two holes. Then we're gonna take the two, and to make sure that this is facing the proper direction. So the thin, smaller side goes right next to the other smaller side, which looks something like this. As you can see, this is flat like this, and this is still thin, like so. I'm going to take the four hole, one by, we're gonna attach it to this side over here. This is just these two one fourth inch screws. One of them is going to be on the second hole up, coming from the bottom. And the, and the other one's gonna be on the last hole coming from the top. Then we're going to use the special bearing, the smaller bearing. And we're going to uh, screw it into this side over here. Now this, we're going to have to use half inch screws. It's going into the middle hole and the bottom hole, leaving the top uppermost hole open. For this, you use two caps nuts as well. That should be good. All right, then on this side over here, I'm going to use a one inch screw right here. Now, as you can see, I'm going to use the two flat nuts that I had before. Tighten one on up to the screw head, and then I'm going to tighten another one up to the screw head. Now, from now on, once they're together, I'm going to tighten them, make sure that their heads are together. I'm going to push them down, and I'm going to screw them in with my screwdriver instead. Then we're going to take a one spacer, put that on the other side, and then we're going to use our 12 hole here. I'm going to put this aside for now and get our regular bearing. Now this is going to be, we're only going to attach a screw on the last hole. And turn it this way. Nicely tuck this in. Now instead of the last screw, we're going to do this on the middle screw. And then you're going to use a lock nut, probably a thin lock nut. So. As you can see, it is pretty close, but that's the goal. You flip this around, you can see it's very loose. 